For more debates, updates and bonus content, sign up at thebigconversation.show. Francis Crick, obviously, who, you know, first proposed the the DNA molecule, um, described the origin of life as almost a miracle. And when you do look at the complexity of what's happening inside living cells, uh, the apparatus, the processes involved, even in, in the very simplest of of biochemical machines, um, you describe in the book, um, I will mispronounce this, no doubt, but a kinesin walker, it's a sort of ratchet engine and, and other things. Um, obviously, the way DNA and R RNA replicate and the error correction going on, the, these are incredibly complex processes, aren't they? Um, I mean, do you want to just describe some of what's going on in the cell that many people obviously are completely <laughs> oblivious to of how, how complex it all is? Yes, of course, well, you're quite right. It is staggeringly, breathtakingly complex. So even the simplest living thing, uh, <clears throat> simplest bacterium, simplest autonomous living thing is just uh, uh, be beyond uh, any uh, capability of human technology to match. People often talk about, oh, we're making life in the lab, but they're not talking about, uh, about this, uh, the <clears throat> talk about re-engineering life. And so... Um, what we have is this enormous complexity. And, and one way of thinking about this, if you want to take an engineering approach, uh, is that the living cell is like a sort of bag of nanomachines, uh, incredibly efficient in most cases, um, coupled together uh, in a way, and I can't avoid it, uh, that is uh, under uh, some sort of information management. So there's an entire network uh, of command and control. So this isn't just sort of arbitrary chemistry and blundering around. Although there's a fair amount of, of randomness, what we call stochasticity, uh, driving this, but nevertheless, uh, there's a directionality to it that emerges. But uh, at the level of complexity, so you mentioned the uh, kinesin walker. So uh, there are many little um, uh, nano devices or nano machines that operate with extraordinary thermodynamic uh, efficiency, very close to what is uh, perfection. Uh, and uh, uh, this uh, particular molecule you mentioned, um, it, I mean, it literally walks along fibers in cells delivering cargo. And uh, uh, there, are, there are many examples uh, of this and it all has to be choreographed with uh, very great precision to work uh, properly. Uh, uh, and so I suppose if you're an engineer or a physicist and you drill down into this, uh, uh, I mean, like an entire city of complex uh, processes going on, all interlinked and uh, coordinated with a, a coherent outcome, uh, it, it just looks uh, really extraordinary. 